Hello, everyone. Welcome to my presentation. I'm Zitong Wang from Machine Intelligence Technology, Alibaba Group. Our paper is A Semi-Blind Source Separation Approach for Speech Derivation. In our work, we reformulate speech derivation as a semi-blind source separation problem. Correspondingly, we derive a normal aux ICA based solution. We analyze its relation to the classical WPE algorithm. We conducted experiments on the Reverb Challenger dataset and proved the efficacy of our proposed approach. Speech derivation algorithms in the literature broadly fall into two classes spectral enhancement and the linear filtering. In the first class, spectral gains are obtained are applied to the observation spectrum based on coherent to diffuse ratio or estimated later reverberation power or pre-trained neural networks. The linear filtering methods include common filtering and multi-channel linear prediction. An efficient implication of MCLP in the frequency domain, which is termed weighted prediction error, has shown to be very effective. In the recent reverb and chime challenges, WPE has greatly improved the speech recognition performance and has gained popularity ever since. Reverberation can be characterized by the room impulse responses. As shown in this figure, an impulse response consists of three parts, the direct path sound, early echoes, and the late reverberation. Late reverberation is found detrimental to speech recognition and sometimes to human perception. It has to be canceled or surprised. The WPE algorithm estimates a filter to predict the late reverberation in the current observation from the past observations. And by skipping some frames, we avoid signal self-cancellation. The later reverberation is then subtracted from the current observation. We can write the signal model as in this form. The desired signal is represented by D, and the prediction filter is denoted by A. The prediction filter can be obtained under different loss functions. In the literature, we have the weighted prediction error and the minimum mutual correlation loss functions. We also note that in this signal model, we perform speech derivation in each frequency bin separately. Here, we address speech derivation from the source separation view. Some previous work has done this before, like the Trinikan algorithm, and some methods that perform joint derivation, the echo cancellation from the source separation view. We can rewrite the previous linear signal model as in this form. It represents a mixing process. And the mixing matrix has its diagonal elements being unitary. We can write the demixing process in this form. And the demixing matrix is denoted by B. Note here that the observation vector X is already known. 
So this is a semi-blind source separation problem. And by assuming signal dependence across time, which is a strong assumption, the demixing matrix B has this unique form in which all its diagonal elements are unitary. So we only have to calculate its first row vector. We denote W here. Since we defined a source separation problem, we can use the popular source separation approaches to solve it. And we adopt the KL divergence as the loss function. It is defined as in this form. Directly optimizing this loss function is difficult. And then we adopt the auxiliary function technique, in which we design a new function Q, which is the upper bound of our target loss function. And this new loss function can be written in this form with auxiliary variable matrix C, which is the weighted correlation of the observations. This weighting factor is related to the context function or the source probability density function. We have the following updated rules to solve this demixing matrix. If we assume the matrix B is invertible, which is indeed the case, we can simplify this formulation. And we normalize this first row vector with respect to its first element. For now, we have derived a new OX SA solution to for speech derivation. It seems different from previous methods. Even though we are based on the same linear signal model. So here we show its relation to prior work. We rewrite this correlation function in block form and then we apply block matrix inversion. Take this back to the, this formulation. We find that this new solution is mathematically equivalent to the previous least square solutions. And this the mixing filter is related to the correlation matrix R and this correlation vector R. The difference is we use a different weighting factor here. In the WP algorithm, it is assumed a time varying variance Gaussian model of the target clean speech. Correspondingly, we weight the correlation matrix and the correlation vector with the speech variance. And here, we can use an arbitrary weighting factor indeed. Specifically, we apply a general super Gaussian source model. And we with a ship parameter beta here. And by tuning beta from zero to two, we can apply, we can get the Gaussian source model, the Laplace source model, and the other super Gaussian source models. We 
we conducted experiments on the Revolver Challenger dataset and compared our proposed OX assay solution with the classical WP algorithm. In the first experiment, we perform quality evaluation. And we, we report SRMR scores in this table. The higher the score, the better the performance. We can see that compared with the unprocessed signal, the speech derivation algorithms achieved higher scores. And if we use more channels, we can achieve better performance. In the one channel, two channel, and three channel, and eight channel cases, a shape parameter of 0 0.4 achieves the best performance on real data. We also evaluate the speech recognition performance using a state-of-the-art time-delay neural network acoustic model. We can see that compared with the unprocessed signal, the speech derivation algorithms especially in the eight channel cases, greatly reduces the world error rate. So in the one channel case, the ship parameter 0.4 seems better. Well, in the eight channel cases, the classical WP algorithm performs best. So the gap is very small here. For summary, in this paper, we address speech derivation from a semi-blind source separation perspective. And we adopt a strong assumption of the speech signals. An OX SA solution is derived, which is mathematically equivalent to the classical WP algorithm but we use different speech probability source priors and they lead to different speech quality and speech recognition performance. For some future work, a unified framework for joint echo cancellation, speech derivation, and source separation is very appealing. And we are also aware of some recent work which tied in integrates speech derivation with neural networks and acoustic models. Thank you for listening.